yesterday, we were having a conversation about the fact that our friend Crit Mac um, had been exposed, I suppose you could say. Some old Facebook posts came up. Uh, AD maybe could add a little bit more color in so far as exactly what was going on in those posts, but they included him basically using some negative uh, connotations, some negative uh, words to describe Crips. And at one wow. point, maybe even saying some things to sort of be like claiming another gang. What? Now, this was when he was very young and he was going through some shit. We've learned a lot about the, uh, the early days of Crip Mac through this whole process. But we were having a conversation about it. Uh, and then pretty soon after, a video pops up of Crip Mac claiming in the video that he was driving to his hood to meet with some generals, some higher ups from his set. And then pretty soon after we see another video of Crip Mac driving back from the set, from the land, Jesus. bloody as fuck, clearly got DP'd. And then we actually saw another video that came out that was filmed. He's, the, the guy who's filming is basically getting yelled at by one of the generals, quote unquote, I believe. Telling him not to film it, saying he's still from the set, don't film that, because, you know, of course, when there's a DP situation happening that nobody's supposed to film. What do we make of this? What do you think about it? Well, I just talked about this yesterday, too, and people liked the, uh, what I had to say about it, so I'm going I'm to I'm crack it off of y'all. If y'all don't know how L.A. politics work, you know what I'm saying? When you join a gang, there's a list of rules... You know what I'm saying? That if you make the hood look bad in any type of way, your homies may want to DP you. DP means discipline. You come to the hood, you feel me? If you don't want to get DP'd, most of the time, you can't come back to the hood, or you 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 better off not even claiming the hood no more. If mm. if if Crip Mac had refused to go show up, they basically could have told him, you can't bang the hood no more. Right, and then he has to move to Arizona. <laughs> Is there something. like a manual or something that like teaches the rules? It's not necessarily a manual, but like, like for, for instance, like... If a nigga walks up to you, right, and then you know he's extra, like, "What's up, nigga?" I'm boom, 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 boom. Where you, where you where from? Are you from and you and you on some scary shit, and you like, "I don't bang," and your homies find you that turn shit the hood, out. You turn, the you turn it down. Yeah, that's you, a DP. You, that's a DP. Oh, I was a rip. Or if you go to if you in jail and and nigga and nigga ask you where you from and you turn that's it probably down, where it happens the most. You huh? get you get you roll you got to roll it up. You go back to the hood. You getting DP. What just, is that? It's mean? just a huge roll part of. I heard up. somebody I mean, write, say that in the roll song. Roll it up is like when you go to jail, right? When you, you get the you, you you fucking get in there and people get to checking you and like five minutes later you like man I don't want to be in here. You figure it's out that it's not you, a good cell for you. You go straight to the guard and tell them like, hey man, can y'all move me to another? Get me out of here. This ain't gonna work. That's rolling it up. And so that's very much looked down upon as well. That's that's yeah. grounds for a DP. Yeah, use a mark for that. Yeah. When, when I you, thought it meant like you had like a thing to sleep on, like a mat to sleep no, on. You I mean, no, you basically, yeah, yeah. You basically all your get shit the, is in your mat. Yeah. You roll it up. That's Nigga, really you when you roll out. Down. You get when you punk, down, you get, punk, get your bitch ass out like of here. A hitchhiker. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Stick exactly. with a handkerchief on the <laughs> yeah. end. Yeah. Okay. When you saw those Facebook posts, what was your reaction, and did you think that this was going to be what happened? Um, at first, I was like, "How old was he when he did this shit?" Because a lot of motherfuckers claim all type of shit when they're young, and to me, it seemed like he wanted just to just be a gang member from the get go. Yeah, definitely. To where he even it looked like he made up his own fucking hood when it came down to that shit. That That'd was that was funny as fuck to me. You know what I'm saying? And I understand what he was saying when he got put on the 60s. I thought he got put on 60s in L.A. at first. Oh. So he got put it on 60s, it, 60s in Texas. Oh. What? And, okay, so he got put on with 60s in Texas and then actually got put off he didn't by like them how, as well? He basically said he didn't like how the day cripping was, so he got put off. He didn't approve of their crib. You you don't think that like it was basically like them not approving of him? I guess I there's, there's no way. For I don't know, but out of town gangbanging is different than L.A. gangbanging. Yeah. So that he wasn't. With 60s in LA, it was in Texas I, during that. That's, okay. that's, that's what, what I heard. That's what the story was. Yeah. And so yeah. then when he comes back to LA, so he, he didn't back respect their crib, no, so he got he put was off. upset because he got his ass beat by the gang. And yeah. so then he goes on Facebook and he starts saying some shit that basically equates to fuck rolling 60s, and that was no, it's fuck the whole card. Okay. Basically, but like I said, the nigga was. If the nigga was younger doing that and he went and got put on, like he really left, he really got put on his hood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And since then, but he's the, been who who he is. The five fives is neighborhood. That's still neighborhood. Yeah, so 
I'm just so confused. So listen, there's a there's a card, right? He's not yeah. from around here. That's I a am. that's a neighborhood <laughs> card. The neighbor <laughs> the neighborhoods is the forties. Yeah, yeah, the, the I know that. The five fives, the sixties, the nineties, the rolling hundreds, and you know it's a couple other yeah. hoods that are like allies with them and stuff like that. So when you say neighborhood, they all push that's neighborhood. They, they yeah. rolling. They usually yeah. put the O. So when you whack out an O, you see somebody whack out yeah. an O. That's it. That's the opposition, basically. Right. And so there's obviously a shitload of people on YouTube gleeful about this. This is the best thing that you would think ever happened to them, but. Earlier today, I was listening to WAC 100 talk about this on Clubhouse, and he fucks with Crip Mag. They're cool and everything. But he basically said that this is how it's supposed to go down. He doesn't look at Crip Mag any less. He sees it as being something where 100% Crip Mag did the right thing that was supposed to happen within that. Like, WAC, WAC made it very, very clear. Crip Mac did not get jumped. No. He got, he got DP'd. Put it's not like a situation. It's not a situation where off. you're walking out of the liquor store and five people fucking come at you and, and beat the fuck out of you. And, and Crip Mac's OG, OBM Slim, I believe it is. He actually No, it is, it is kind of like that. Though. He went on the fucking uh the clubhouse call though, and he specified how it happened. Crip Mac pulled up. And they said, be they, some young niggas. But they basically said, do you want to talk about it? And he just said, fuck it. No talking. Give my DP. Let's just go. And he fucking, apparently, from the conversation we had with him, he beat up some percentage of the people, but then obviously there's more people there. So how, they, they kept going with it. He, he fought a whole fuckload of people. And mm -hmm. obviously by the end of it, he's all bloody and on the ground because this, this video clip surfaced where uh, they, they were basically like peeling and, and him up off the ground. And that's wrong. You feel me? Because like, his homies ain't supposed to let that footage get out of there, bro. That's right. that's fucked up. That is not no homie shit. You feel me? That make the whole hood look bad. You do not do your homie like that. Yeah. And even with Crip Mac, you feel me? A lot of people really can't say nothing too bad about him because the nigga went to his hood to get his DP. He took his fades, my nigga. He did, he did what he was supposed to do as a gangster as if a you're gangster. abiding to that. Because there's a lot of guys who don't go to their hood because they scared to get DP'd or they scared to see certain motherfuckers and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So that, I mean, on, on some real gangster shit, that was honorable how he did that. But you know, like, that's all this shit is, is, is fucking dumb, bro. I wish they didn't do them like that. Like, it's for the internet to see. That's why I don't like it. And obviously I have no fucking say in this and whatever the fuck is happening between gang shit has nothing to do with me. But I hated it just because of the fact that this was basically, if, if this happened as it has been portrayed, where he basically got DP because of these old Facebook posts, they're basically playing into a propaganda campaign from the people that they're sworn enemies with who are trying to put out this information and trying to make him look bad. Make and so it's bad. basically the same thing they're doing Joe Rogan right now, really. But basically, you know, they're, they're trying to do this whole smear campaign against him and... It's kind of a bummer that like we actually got to see him get beat up by his own people, even though, you know, I guess they're they're playing by the rules, and he he doesn't seem like he has hard time hard feelings about it. He said I I made some stupid decisions, and and it is what it yeah. is. And and kids do not gang bang. Ain't nothing cool about that shit. Yeah. Don't go, this and even even the fact that you know motherfuckers is on YouTube glorifying this shit all the time. This shit come with a lot of loss. It come with a lot of pain. This shit is not cool. It ain't nothing to play around with and shit like that. Just be just. Be yourself. Be, yeah, be I mean, yourself. You ain't got to do no no bullshit. Yeah, you know, you can still have you, you can still have homies and y'all can you know like do y'all thing or and, whatever. And or. this time, I agree with Charleston fucking white. What he say? What'd this he nigga say? had this nigga You're was so tapped in. No, he was crying, bro. He had real tears in his eyes talking about how they did C Mac. Really? And he apologized for him like. You know, saying shit about his mama. He was like, basically, you the face of the Crips, and this is how they did the face of the Crips, and they killed mm. Nip, and they did all of that. Mm. I, Charleston was really like on some. He was, he was really, really upset yeah, about this situation sense, and shit. Yeah. And what he was saying was real. I gotta give it. I gotta call it how I see it. But okay, Snoopy Badass has been in my DMs mm -hmm. informing me of how he feels about the situation because he had a very similar situation mm -hmm. where he was part of a gang and then it kind of got exposed that he maybe at a younger point in his life was banging something else. And so then they had him come to the hood, they beat the shit out of him, and it was a put off. So by the end of it, he's not with the hood anymore. So why even but, go your, but your hood could do that if they feel like that. Right. Why even go get put up? Oh, well, because then if you run into them, then you go and, yeah, and it's you the, didn't. But, but it's an some, exit party. Some niggas too. They be like, I don't want a game bag no more. So you got to get put off too. Right. You but, can't just like just walk away. Yeah. Scott yeah, But from Snoopy Badass's perspective, he was saying that he really respects the way that the Five Fives handled the situation with Crip Mac because 
you didn't see anybody going on their story and saying fuck him yada 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 of of his world you know like obviously there's plenty of people talking shit but his people weren't talking shit they handled the situation privately yes one person did fucking film that's the only thing i don't clip. like i don't like that they right. put that on the internet but, but whoever did from, that from, that's scandalous from snoopy's perspective he was just like Look at how solid that is. Look at how how mannish that is that they handled it in a mature yeah. way like that, even though obviously to the average person, the, the beat down part of it is like completely hard to understand and shit. But I don't know. Like even we we were with somebody who is, you know, a, a sworn enemy of Crip Mac yesterday when we saw that video come out of him basically talking about it and showing his face all bloody. And this person I'm talking about, he he couldn't hide how he felt about it. He said, respect. He did what he was supposed to do right there. He, he went through and he did the respectable thing. So yeah. I, yeah. I immediately saw it as a situation where even though it's ugly that it had to happen in public, it's like I'm reading Crip Max comments. Every, every single comment is you're a stand-up dude. You went to the land. You did this. You did that. You know, like a lot of niggas, human. a lot that's, of niggas don't do that. That's you a feel lot me? of pressure, bro. It's I know a lot of niggas, a lot of rappers, it's a lot of motherfuckers who will not set grounds on where they're supposedly from because they are they're afraid to catch fades right now mm. or be extorted or whatever the situation is so i think watching that situation honestly made me feel like i really got love for that dude because i was mm. really like sad for the situation and like worried about him and i was hitting him up like are you okay what the fuck's going on now it's like a real stamp no custer shit mm. no nah, for real like for real, he stood on his own can't shit. call him no custer he stood on his own shit that he preached you feel what i'm saying yeah W he went out there. Nobody likes getting their ass beat, but he went out there and handled it like a man. So I'm optimistic for uh, where Kurt Mack <laughs> takes things from here, you know? I mean, it's back to schedule programming. Yeah, right? I mean, pro hey, program time five. five. Time five. Right. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah, man. Nigga just had a little, little, little bump in the road to get over. Shout out my boy Kurt Mack. He, he handled his candle. We're going to see what else happens. Uh, I don't know he what handled candle his candle. To you. That's what you're supposed to say. What are you saying? I don't know what candle mean to you. Yeah, right. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> Nina boy always says shit. Nina boy always says you gotta handle your candle. Oh, why don't you just I say know, it, when I say it, scandal. it sounds like a porn thing. Yes, handle your scandal. You Who's handling handle scandals? Candle. I never heard of that. That sounds that's way that that's way more realistic. Sounds, yeah, <laughs> I got no handle your scandal. You can handle your scandals, but why like, would you handle a candle? What the fuck is this? because the candle? <laughs> trying to sell wax you, on yourself. You ain't been a Dodie blocking long enough. The candles are when somebody <laughs> no, gets nigga, killed, they put the niggas, candles right. Oh, okay. So then it's like you kick yeah, the candles not, because if you want to disrespect somebody, so if you gonna handle your candle. That's like you're gonna. But that's not what he was talking about. Shit. I think you should shut the fuck up. I think that's what Nina Boy is saying. I do. <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop imitating what you see on YouTube. Yeah. You, who's kicking the candle? You kick candles ever? Uh, no, that's yeah. Man, that's I, don't, I don't. That's some new age shit. We don't play like that. I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. New, well, new York play. invented that shit. I think. Huh? Whoever invented it. I've seen a lot of drill world. rappers kicking the candles and say and calling it that. Like I'm a I'm gonna kick this dude's candles and they just film themselves. We don't bring that energy yeah, out that's, like that. That's too you know much. I seen I seen some young niggas do that to to some some niggas out and, here. And it was in the music video out here. Oh yeah, I seen it in the music videos. Oh, it was yeah, in the music video. I know video. which one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah don't hoods, even. In hoods out here, people be patrolling, so they like, that's, show, that's show. crazy. Hey, man. you you see you see Blueface finally firing back at uh, Crip Mac. No. He, he chose this as a moment of weakness, I get. He said, he, he goes on Twitter, <laughs> and Blueface wrote, like, uh, oh, I, I guess he wasn't keeping it 55th Street after wow. all or some shit. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I've seen some memes and shit. You know, people are having a good time with it, but it is what it is. Hey, if, if they called you in for a DP, you're showing up? Now? Yeah. Fuck no. No? <laughs> he kept it you just came too, too far he in the world? Kept it real. I, don't care. I don't care about gang banging shit no more. Are you bro. a general? I'm a guy. OG Suicide is right there. Tell you, you <laughs> is he a general? OG, OG Suicide is the general. We're from the same neighborhood. Is a general like an official rank or Come is it on. more like a general thing? Like Put it this way. Oh, we generals Suicide now. Yeah. used to run the fucking hood. And shit, was, shit was structured when I was growing up. You couldn't just come get put on or you couldn't do what the fuck you wanted to do. Okay. You want to come switch out and, and tell Adam? Hey, hey, okay. He's going to get a pass? Yeah, talk about you want to come? You want to come switch out? He's got to get a all right, we're gonna get you a pass then. I'm too important right now, bro. To even, I don't care about the game oh, shit no more. Like if my homie said, "Nigga, oh, you gotta come, nigga, fuck y'all, come find me." That's <laughs> good. I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm we gonna wanna see some we gonna come, John, we gonna John Wick it out. Whatever the fuck niggas wanna do. Yeah, yeah. some real shit. Pull up together. 
Yeah, but look, suicide, <laughs> I tell you. So how, how do you feel about that then? That you, you feel like Crip Mac is just, he Crip comes Mac, from a wilder set or what? No, Crip Mac is an active gang member. I am yeah. not an active gang member. Uh, I am a fucking rapper, podcaster, yeah, yeah, celebrity, what whatever the fuck you want to call mm-hmm. me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm too important. I'm, I'm the fucking trope. I'm too important to be just chilling, doing shit that I was doing when I was fucking 17, 18 years old. Man, you got to elevate, bro. That's why I said, I can't sit here and tell motherfuckers don't gang bang and if I'm still out here doing that shit, no. I'm still... Who I am from where I'm from. Yeah, fact. the rules still apply, but at the end of the day, but I'm not active. I'm not out here looking for motherfuckers to slide on. Yeah, I'm not so. out here, you know what I'm saying, banging on niggas and shit. Except to the office. Who I bang on? <laughs> Josh, Jerry, <laughs> all these civilians, all these custers, all these custers. 